Hey, it's me again. Yeah, that's right. Your resident talking head. Welcome back to Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley. I have just done two videos where y'all asked me a bunch of questions and I posed some answers. Or maybe you posed the questions and I presented the answers. Yeah, that sounds better. Well, the point is, folks, it's the questions that are far more important than the answers. So on this episode, I'm going to propose a question to you all. And that question is, why are you doing this? <sighs> well, your answers may be different and the context may be different. And uh, the room in which we ask that question may be different for each of us. What are we talking about? Why are you doing this? Why are you watching my silly YouTube channel? Why am I making these silly YouTube videos? Why are you so interested in photography? Why do you want to make these little films? Why do you want to create? Why do you want to go down the street to that little coffee shop? Why do you, where's my phone? Why are you on your phone all the time? Why are you doing this? Right now I'm looking in the lens, but there's a neutral density filter over the lens that cuts the light that allows me to actually have a shallow depth of field, even though I'm up against the wall and I don't need to be, but you see the wall is slightly out of focus. Well, my point is here, I can see my reflection perfectly, perfectly about this big of my, this much of my face. Yeah, about, about this much in that circle is what I see reflected back at me from that ND filter on the lens. So when I'm proposing these questions, when I'm posing, I'm not proposing a question. <laughs> I'm posing a question to y'all. I'm actually looking at myself in the mirror and I'm asking myself, why are you doing this? Why am I spending so much time making these YouTube videos? I don't make any money off of them. I make a couple bucks, but um, it's this much. I mean, it's like, it, it'll like what I make in a whole month if I make a couple of videos will maybe fill my gas tank on my forerunner. Still got the forerunner. Um, so it's, 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 it's almost nothing. Um, and it takes a lot of effort. Why am I doing it? I, I have just been, uh, this question has been on my mind a lot lately, uh, across a lot of fronts and it's, it's stayed there and it stayed there in front of my mind. And so I thought I would talk about that and I didn't prepare any thoughts. So hang on tight to your britches. We're probably already like three or four minutes deep into this sucker. And I haven't even said anything of value, but that doesn't matter. I don't have answers here. I don't have answers. I'm going to tell you a couple things that I think, but they're not answers. What I hope uh, to arrive at, I hope that you arrive at after this video is you pose these questions to yourself because like I said in the beginning, the question's more important than the answer. You need to be questioning yourself. You need to be questioning your motives. You need to be questioning your use of time because let me tell you this, you don't have as much time as you think you do. It's running out, man. All our days are numbered and ain't none of us promised tomorrow. We don't know when we're going away. I just did this. Uh, some of you may have heard about it. I did this little webinar that these folks asked me to do, Pictos and Vero. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it. Um, <laughs> I got kind of rambly and long winded. But uh, in preparing for that, I had to really think about what I was going to talk about for an hour. Spoiler alert, I went over because I'm long winded. And I looked at some patterns in my life and I looked at some big events that happened. And I told some stories about some folks that aren't around anymore, about some things that happened to me. And at the end of it, the thing that I know and I know intimately and I know well, but I need to be reminded that we ain't here forever. We're here for just a freaking microsecond, you know, and when you're young and strong and your life is spread out before you, you think, 
I got all the time in the world, but the truth is you don't. And when you get a little older, like my age, look, I'm probably halfway through my life. I don't think I'm going to live to be a hundred. I mean, that would be, I'd be pretty lucky. I hope I do, but I, I doubt I'm going to live to be a hundred, right? I'd be stoked to live 90. So I'm more than halfway through my life and I'm thinking about it a lot. Why am I doing anything? What should I be doing with my time? And you can be paralyzed by these thoughts almost into inaction, or you can be motivated and you can try and do more. My problem is I'm going to spoiler alert. No, it's not a spoiler. Uh, it's a confession, confession alert. I'm going to confess. I am oftentimes guilty of trying to do too much, thinking that I can do all these different things. And I feel like I could definitely do them better. I can make better, more polished YouTube videos if I just took a little more time. I just don't want to. And I like the rough around the edges vibe that I'm doing. And, and I like it just being that way and being sort of spontaneous and spur of the moment and boom. Okay. Yeah, it is rough. It's not as polished as my professional work. And that's how it should be. Should it? Why am I doing this? I don't even like sitting in front of a camera and talking. It doesn't come naturally. I think I've probably gotten a little better at it and that makes me feel good, but I don't like it. And I dread the thought of having to sit down and having to talk to the camera and having to be succinct. And, uh, that's why you have all these little chops because I'm cutting out all the ums and the ams and the er uh, and the uncomfortable pauses. I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. I'm just going to lay it out uncensored and uncut. I'm not here to tell you why I'm doing any of this, but I am here to tell you that I'm thinking about it a lot and I'm questioning my own motives. I'm questioning my use of time. I'm going to put the screws to myself and really hone in on what it is I want to achieve. And I think as artists, you need to keep that at the forefront of your brain, you know, because it's fun. Like I love taking pictures. I love meeting up with a stranger or another creative person here in Los Angeles and, and having a photo shoot and just seeing what's going to happen. I could do that every day, all day. It's actually super fun. The editing, all the photos isn't as fun, but the shooting, I freaking love it. And I love the interaction and I love the creativity and I love the discovery and I love the camaraderie of making something with someone else and their input and my input. And somehow, hopefully, it all becomes greater than the sum of its parts. I love that. But what am I really accomplishing? I've got a decent portfolio already. Should I be doing that with my time? Or should I be more focused? Should I be doing things with serious intention? Maybe with a little more stakes. Maybe I should uh, invest a little more besides just shooting at this easy free spot right down the road under a bridge. Maybe I should spend my money and go get a studio and get some more lights and try and do something a little more ambitious. Maybe. But that's me. My point is, as artists, you know, if you are doing an art that you love, which is probably it, maybe you like finger painting, maybe you like playing the guitar, maybe that in itself, just that act of creating, maybe that's enough to fuel your fire. But maybe, maybe you should take it further. And it's not for me to say that about you, but maybe you should ask yourself, why am I doing this? And is it really just about the act of doing it? Or are you trying to get somewhere? You don't necessarily need to be playing guitar so that you can be in a band, so you can make a record, so you can sell a million records, so you can tour the world. Odds of that happening are pretty slim. I'm not saying they won't, but uh, maybe that's not why you're playing guitar. Maybe you just like to blow off steam after a hard day at the office. You want to come home, you want to jam out to some riffs. <sighs> is any of this making sense? I don't know. I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers, folks. 
I love taking pictures. I love making little films and putting them on YouTube. I actually really enjoy it. I am questioning my own use of time. I'm questioning whether I should keep doing it. It doesn't mean I won't. Spoiler alert, I probably will. I think I've been doing a little less uh, social media, a little less YouTube, because I'm trying to spend my time elsewhere. I think I need to widen that gap even more. I think that uh, a lot of us get stuck in this trap of like needing to look like we're important, needing to look like we're always doing something, needing to get validated by those little beep, 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 like, 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 like. So I don't know what else I have to say on this subject, and I don't want this to be a 20 minute long diatribe. I, if, if you've watched it this far, I really just want you to be thinking for the next few days, the next week, the rest of the year, think about next year coming up. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing anything? Why are you watching all these YouTube videos? Why do you even care? You want to learn something? You want to be entertained? You want to be numbed? Why don't you turn it off and go outside and do something on your own? Why don't you go make something? Maybe you are. This isn't directed at all of you. I'm just posing the question. I just want you to think about it. Act with intention. Intention is important. Now, are you just kind of numbing yourself with the act of creation, with playing around? Or do you have a real goal in mind? Do you have intent? What is your intention? Why are you doing this, folks? This is what I'm asking myself. This is what I'm going to try and get better at in the coming year. Yeah, that's it. Life's an adventure, folks. It's strange. It continues to get stranger. It's going to take you places you can't even imagine. Life's pretty weird. Thanks for watching my silly videos. Thanks for watching these three little weird talking head videos that I've made in the last couple of days. I don't know. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Take it easy.